Hey everybody, it's Chris back with another beer review for the Blue Collar Beer Gourmet. Today I'm going to be reviewing a Nevada beer. This is Great Basin's Outlaw Milk Stout. I'm doing this at a different time of day, so hopefully I'm getting a little less glare this time. You can actually see the bottle as I hold it up to the camera. So, uh, yeah, anyway, this is a Milk Stout. Uh, Outlaw Milk Stout, Apprehend On Site Sweet Stout. Uh, it claims it is the Nevada's most award-winning brew. Um, I've had Great Basin beer before, the Ichthyosaurus IPA. I gotta tell you, it was not crazy about it. Um, it uh, I picked it up at uh, uh, Fresh and Easy when they were closing, and um, I just I did not like that IPA at all, not in the least. But these are Nevada brewers, and I like to give local people, um, you know, a, a local brewers a chance. Uh, these guys are actually it says Reno and Sparks, and as my friend Brian says about Reno. It's so close to hell you can see sparks. So uh, that's that's a Nevada joke. This has an ABV of 5.2. Um, says it has an array of pale roasted and caramel malts to yield a wonderfully rich velvet texture. Exceedingly smooth, enigmatic delight. Uh, so I'm uh, going to use my Taza design. Pop the top opener. As, this, as you can see this cap is actually some uh, that's a cap worth saving if you were a cap saver. So, that's the problem is I don't set these down. Yes, there we go. Okay, gotta set those down. That's that's my fault. That's not Taza Design's fault. Uh, you can see this is this is a little bit messed up. That's the operator's fault, not the fault of the tool. Uh, anyway. That's my fault, so don't hold that against pop the top openers. I see a lot of people using these now, and uh, they're very popular. This one's holding up. So, uh, anyway, that sure smells like a milk stout. You can smell the lactose, you can smell the, uh, you can smell the caramel malts, you can smell, um, you don't really so much smell coffee, but you do smell a sweetness coming up. That is a very, very dark head. A very dark head. Uh, so, yeah, that's a good looking stout. Got to say that for sure. That's very good looking. Nice uh, coffee colored, uh, strong head. Getting a persistent, I'd say, eighth of an inch left. Got some moderate carbonation in here. Mostly I'm smelling lactose, that sweet smell of lactose, and um, uh, the uh, and the smell of the caramel malts. So anyway, uh, we've given this a good whiff. We've noted that it does have a 5.2 ABV, and that they are Nevada brewers. Here we go. Kind of a kind of a spiky mouthfeel for a milk stout. Um, I gotta call this at least a, a high low. Um, that's not bad. Uh, that kind of grows on you. I wasn't crazy about that first sip. The second one, uh, once the palate becomes familiar with it and you get a little of that lactose rolling across your tongue, this ain't bad. This is actually pretty good. Um, this is, and I'm glad for that. I'm glad because they're Nevada brewers, and living in Nevada, I like to, uh, obviously, I like to drink Nevada beers, and after that Ichthyosaurus IPA, I was not at all impressed with uh, it, but this is actually pretty good. This is about what a milk stout should be. It's sweet, but not too sweet. It has a spiky uh, uh, mouthfeel. Um, not a lot of alcohol burn. Of course, it's only 5.2. Oh, and by the way, I paid uh, $1.79 for this at um, Total Wine. Always got to be sure to include the price. $1.79 for the Great Basin Outlaw Milk Stout. And uh, I'd say uh, probably this is going to get a four, a nice solid four, because it's true to form. Um, this is uh, this is good, but not exceptional. Uh, but it's, uh, it's, and it's, um, I keep using the word textbook. Uh, I would say this is textbook uh, milk stout, though. It has just the right level of sweetness and just the right level of acidity. And 
sure has a, a nice caramel smell coming off of it. So, um, my friend Guy Medley, who likes stouts, and Jimmy Boring, uh, to both of you, uh, I'm going to recommend, I'm going to put this right up in there for each of you, the Great Basin Outlaw Stout. Guy lives in Southern Cali, but Jimmy lives in Nevada. Both of you should be able to find uh, Great Basin, and I'm going to recommend that uh, milk stout to you guys. So, uh, as well as anybody else out there who likes milk stouts. Um, that being the case, uh, we're going to sign off on this one, and um, I'm going to try to do, uh, I'm going to try, this is, seems to be a good time to do, um, with, I mean, with at least with the light, so I'm going to try to do that because I haven't had to deal with flare like I have on, had on previous reviews. But uh, until the next one, um, thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr, as well as my occasional uh, Periscope videos. And I'm going to be trying to do, I, I don't have the same uh, commitments that I did with Every Day in June, but I am going to try to uh, keep the blog on WordPress going um, this month as well. This is my birthday month, so I got to got to keep that rolling. It occurred to me that today's the 8th and I haven't written a single blog for July, so got to get my act together. Anyway, um, drink good beer, don't break the bank doing it, and cheers.